Peace gang, it's Nyla here and in today's video I'm going to do a full story of the story time that I have up there on the TikTok. Let me tell y'all the story time of how my cousins had came down there to my grandma house, which is they great grandma, honey, um, to jump my little old ass. My li this little, little old me, they came down there to jump me, honey. They showed them the fuck did and um, this was crazy. I, I was in high school and college at the same time, so when I was going to school, during the day for high school, honey, I was going to night school for college. So what happened was before I would go to college, night school, if I call it night school, y'all know what I'm talking about. So before I would go to the night school, um, I would always go down there to my grandmother's house and go check on my grandma, okay? And then when I would get off of school, instead of going home, I would go down there to go check on my grandma before I would go home. So that's what I always did. So, um... This particular day, I go down there to my grandma's house. Honey, I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. I'm in nature, honey. What's better than nature? Nothing. So let me tell you. So I go down there to my grandma's house, and I'm like, hey, grandma. I was like, hey, baby. And I was like, how you doing today, grandma? I'm making small talk with her, honey. And then she basically put her head down, and she said, you know them folks came over here for you today? And I said, what folks? And she pointed, you know, she nodded her head over there towards that, that corner house. Now, let me tell you. Who stay at the corner house, you may want to ask. So my auntie, uh, one of her daughters, uh, owns that house. It's like a triplex, honey. And then a bunch of my cousins stay in the triplex. I was like, okay, I see it's a problem. So I told grandma, I said, grandma, give me a smooch. Grandma gave her a kiss. And I told her, I said, I see you when I get out of school tonight. So then fast forward this same night when I go to school, honey, my cousins that stayed in that corner house, honey, they done linked up with my other cousins. That's from a whole nother hood. See me, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm from Galena Street. Now, I got some cousins that's over there in the Burla Zoo area. They had linked up with the Burla Zoo people, right? While I'm at school, I'm getting tagged and all this stuff on Facebook. Come on, where you at? I'm about to come fight you. I'm about to do this, da, 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 all this extra shit. Talking about they gonna, they gonna shoot my head off my shoulders, honey, all type of shit. I'm like, wow, okay, this series, but I guess, I guess I got it, okay. I said, hey, I'm at the school. I don't get out of here until 10 o'clock, but I'll be down there in the hood, down there by grandma's house at 10.05, honey. So meet me down there. Don't meet me, beat me down there. I go to my grandma's house after school and I'm just sitting there chilling. Now my sister, she already knows about this because you know, that's what I do. I call my sister. I get to text my sister while I was at the school, honey. And uh, I got to tell her. So she was like, I'm gonna go pick up my friend. This her one of her ex best friends, honey. I didn't end up fighting one of her ex best friends, honey. That's gonna be another story time to come, honey, because I got the max restraint order put on my ass. But anywho, back to this story. So we get down there, or whatever, and I'm like, hey, I'm down here. What's going on? Now they from the Burla, and to get to Galena, walking that is. That's a long way. You gotta go southbound, honey. That's a long damn way to be traveling on a hot summer day. Who the fuck does that? They asked. Sure enough, they had brought their ass down there, honey. They walked. And not only did the cousins come, honey, but they had brought their people from their hood down there. Honey, it was all types of men, all types of little old ladies and stuff coming out there. And I was like, well, damn, you need all this ammunition for little old me? Damn, I pissed somebody off. So um they get down there or whatever they're starting this shit in front of my grandmother which is their great grandmother's um goddamn house and i'm sitting here like well where's the fucking respect at where the fuck where why are y'all coming to grandma house with this now i don't have no problem fighting y'all i shouldn't be saying this i shouldn't be having this conversation even still to this day about fighting your family members but here's the thing um, if we gonna fight, we not about to fight in front of grandma's house because if grandma come out here, she slips, she falls, she hurt herself, she have a heart attack, honey, I'm not gonna be able to sleep well at night. So that's what we're not gonna do. Now, you gonna meet me down the street, honey, or we go in the alley. But ain't nobody wanna go to the alley or down the street. They came right in front of grandma's house, ready to just start some ruckus. So I said, okay, cool. Y'all came down here, y'all wanna fight. Well, what's up then? So everybody like, Nyla, go get go in the street. Go in the street. It's going to start when you go in the street. So what I did, I was in my uniform. I went to school for a medical assistant. So we got on our, our scrubs and stuff. So I get to taking off my lanyard. My mama's car keys. That's who car I was driving, honey. So I gave, I don't even know who this man was, but I was giving him all my damn belongings, honey. Thankfully, he wasn't that type of critter, honey. Yeah, he was, he was, he was a good person. So I gave him my phone. I'm talking about I gave him everything, honey. And then I came out of my top part of my scrub, honey, because I had a beater on under there. And we can get nitty and gritty. That's how I feel, honey. I always dress 
ready for combat mm -hmm. so what happened was they was like going to come in the street come in the street so after i gave dude all my shit honey i walked my ass on there over there to the damn street you talking about come to the street well what's up then so i'm out there and i'm looking left and right honey and ain't nobody coming in the street my sister come because she was like hell no you're not finna fight by your goddamn self you motherfucking crazy and they crazy for even thinking that they finna come down here pulling this shit god rest her soul because my grandmother is deceased it's been two years now since she's passed away and honey i yeah Next thing you know, it's me and my sister in the street and her scary ass friend is down the block by the corner house. Y'all, that I was telling y'all about. One of my cousins, this is where I got confused at. Cause one of my cousins was like, she got to lifting up her shirt and shit. Talking about some, I got a flat stomach. I got a flat stomach. Bitches out here ain't with no flat stomach. I'm stretch mark free. I'm like, so is we fighting off a fucking stretch marks and a flat tummy or what the fuck is we out here for? Cause why y'all got me in the street? I don't even know what the fuck is going on at this point. Next thing you know, um, it's a lot of people coming outside cause it's hot outside. It's the summertime and it's the hood, honey. Everybody be outside, honey. So all these people get to coming outside, honey. Honey. and they so loud they just so loud honey if you gonna be about it be about it honey just run up get done up and that's it you ain't gotta do all this extra shit so next thing you know they get to coming in the street so i'm like all right cool i'm about to get jumped y'all i'm dead ass serious i'm about to get jumped it's about 30 goddamn people outside and it's more men than women i'm like damn yep they about to kill my ass tonight they show him the fuck he is i ain't even get kissed my son i love him dearly for the rest of his life honey and i'm sorry now nah, I ain't get to say shit, y'all. Next thing you know, they coming in the street. One of my male cousins, he was out there. He was like, yada, yada, yada. He just, I mean, I don't even know what the man was saying. He was saying so much shit. Everybody just talking. Talking when I get to talking, everybody want to cut me the fuck off. I hate that shit. I don't like that shit. That's a pet peeve of mine. We not doing that. He get to talking real crazy. And now we like face to face, honey. Like me and my male cousin. And then my cousin that hates me so fucking dearly. She's on the side of him tapping at him like, pass me the unit. Pass me the unit. That's all I hear. Pass me the unit. This bitch ready to blow my brains out. Me and my, my male cousin, we face to face like this. And here come my oldest brother, my biggest brother. He come out. He like a damn tree. He like one of them walking trees that, you know, that's going around on the TikTok. He like one of them, honey. He came between us and he was like, nah, bro, ain't none of this shit finna go on. We family. Family don't fight family. Da, 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 da. So then my cousin was, he got to talk shit. And I was like, bro, how come when I want to say something, everybody keep cutting me the fuck off, but it's okay for them to keep saying shit and me to let them talk. What the fuck? So my brother was like, let her say what the fuck she got to say. Everybody has something to say. Let her just say what she got to say. My cousin, he was listening. And I said, hey, do you have any voice recordings of me, say of me saying anything? And he said, no. I said, do you got any text messages of me setting some shit up? He said, no. I said, do you have me on fucking video? He said, no. I said, so why the fuck do you think it's me? Why do you think it's me? I am not the only light-skinned girl with colored eyes in this family. And the fact that the dude uh, that came down there to fight my other cousin, that I guess beat him up in the middle of the street, honey. Damn, he look crazy out here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I don't think I'm supposed to be out here, y'all. These trees, it's trees and, oh, shit. It's getting a little cold. Let me finish my story time. Wait, Mother Nature, wait. I am in the midst of something here. You better stop right now. I, I just need a little bit more time before you do what you want to do. Thank you. Thank you. See how you calm down? You ask and you shall receive. My cousin, after I said everything that I said, he sat there and he was just intaking that knowledge. So I guess the guy that I guess beat up my cousin, I guess when somebody asked him who told you this, I guess he said it was one of your female cousins that's light-skinned with colored eyes, but she wear and she wears glasses. Honey, I'm 30, honey. I ain't never wore no glasses, honey. I don't need glasses. I ain't never had to need glasses, honey. I don't need them. I ain't never worn them. Y'all ain't never seen me with them. So why the fuck is it me? Why the fuck is it me? Is all I'm saying. So anywho, long story short, my other cousin, now he's sitting there like, damn, he's starting to take a thank you to what I'm saying. And then the girl who really hate me, honey, she get to trying to reach and take it off a person, honey, because she's ready to shoot me. She ain't trying to hear shit, honey. She trying to shoot me. She trying to shoot the kill. So uh, my brother stepped in and he said, no, ain't none of that going on. Now, at this point, it's a bunch of homeowners and they're older people and they're outside on their porch. And I'm quite sure they called the police, honey. All you hear is whoop, whoop. Now, the police is there. They want to walk off and shit. They trying to be smooth and shit. Like it, like it ain't nothing. Like there was no fucking altercation right here in front of my damn grandma house. 
They like, oh, you gonna get yours. You gonna get yours. So then they get to walking off and by the time they made it to 20th and Galena, honey, they want to throw their little gun and shit like that because the police was following them. So still to this day, they still don't fuck with me. Uh, the one cousin that I was talking to about, like when I was like, let me ask you them three questions. He finally apologized to me, I want to say maybe, maybe five years ago, four or five years ago, he apologized to me. And that was the only apology that I ever got from any one of my family members. So when I tell y'all, I don't really fuck with my family like that, it's because my family don't really fuck with me like that. And I don't fuck with them like that because I know better and I want better. So I just stay my distance. I still love them all. I just stay my goddamn distance. But I promise you y'all, my cousins really came down there to my grandma house, to their great grandma house, to fucking jump me over some he say, he say, bullshit that's it that's it that's it he say she say bullshit have no proof in the pudding has nothing it's just whatever the fuck they feel now if you enjoyed today's story time then make sure you get this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the banks gang if you have not because i would love it if you could do so i would love to have you here it's like them blue signs y'all remember them blue signs we would love to have you here that's how i feel right now so go ahead and join the banks gang share this video with your family and friends comment down below how you feel about this situation here what would you do how should i go about this honey because i'm just trying to make peace i want to wash my hands and i just want to walk away honey i i'm okay with saying i don't know them people stay tuned for some more story times because i got some more coming for y'all and until next time banks gang bye